neighbors. I keep trying to start this video. Uh, anyway, hi neighbors. Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Jerry Ellen and it's my pleasure to have you here. Welcome if you're returning and welcome if you're new. It is, like I say, it's my pleasure and I hope you're all doing well. Today's video, I am doing a viewer's request from my good friend Tammy back home. Hi Tammy, how are you? And back home and we say, how are you dear? Good, dear, good. I hope you're good, dear, good. And today we're making feather squares. They are so light and fluffy, airy and delicious. Uh, great for afternoon tea. You you cut these up, little squares. They're in an 8x8 pan. You cut them up into little squares. You're going to a larger party, double it, put it in a 9x13. But if you're bringing a tray of sweets, put these on it. You won't be sorry, okay? Now, let's just get into it. I'm going to tell you the stuff that you need. You're going to need uh, sugar and flour. You're going to need three large eggs separated. You're going to need butter baking powder, cornstarch, vanilla, coconut. I like putting a little bit of cream of tartar or uh, custard powder when I'm doing my whites to keep them stabilized. So I got that, but that's optional. And you're gonna need yourself some uh, strawberry or raspberry preserve. I'm using raspberry, Tammy gave me a tip. She said, don't use the expensive stuff, Jerry. It doesn't spread very well. And I said, okay, Tammy, I won't do it then. So I got, just get Walmart brand, whatever, you know, here. I was, uh, I did measure out stuff and I started and then I stopped because the camera wasn't on, so I'm doing it again. Oh, and you need a bit of salt too. My four tablespoons of butter and my half a cup of sugar. And I'm going to cream these well. Let's put on some music. to add these egg yolks one at a time okay but one of mine uh broke so i'm just going to try to pour the broken in oh too bad great for afternoon tea if you guys do that i'm a big big tea drinkers down here You're gonna need another half a cup of sugar later on, okay? But a half a cup goes in this part. Uh, the vanilla, let's add some, a teaspoon. Let's call that a teaspoon. I have an 8x8 pan here. You can butter it or grease it up, uh, dust it with flour, tap the flour out or whatever, but I put parchment paper in mine. Okay, I'm gonna put my dry ingredients in this. Uh, one cup of all-purpose flour. And a little bit for the camera. I miss having my puppy in the kitchen, guys. I miss her so much. Okay, and then I need a half teaspoon of salt. Okay, and I'm gonna need a teaspoon of baking powder. I'm gonna tablespoon of cornstarch. And I'm gonna sift uh, this into there. I'm gonna also need two tablespoons of milk. 
I'm gonna add one tablespoon now. And then I'm gonna add the, oops, then I'm gonna add the other tablespoon. Right it just says mix it with two tablespoons of milk, so I'm just mixing it through and then I'll add the other. I'm just doing it just with my spatula. And you don't wanna overcook it, as Tammy told me. Don't overcook it, Jerry. Okay, Tammy, I won't do that. I'll try, I'll try my best, Tammy. Watch me burn it now. There's another spatula that I like better. I'm just gonna grab it. I like this one. I'm the dishwasher, so the only person I can get mad at for dirty and all of these is myself. Jerry, what are you doing dirty and all those dishes? I don't know, I'm sorry. Okay. Spread her on out. Have you guys heard of these? I did have another recipe for them that had I had written down in an old cookbook of mine from years ago. The but it, it gave the cake part, and that was it. And it was a little different, and it wasn't exactly how I remembered having them. So I must have written something down not right. So I did find a recipe for it online. I don't know where her, apparently her grandma got the recipe, gave it to her. So I'm going to link all that information for you guys. Give it the old shakey shake, tapa tapa. I'm going to pop it in my preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. My egg whites. I also like to add just like a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, cream of tartar to there. Add a little bit of sugar. Clean my beaters. My cake only has a couple of minutes left on it. You want it to be lightly browned. lightly brown, very, very lightly browned, little tanning around the edges, and it's like spongy. So I'm just gonna push this aside because now we want to, while it's still warm, we want to add our jam. As the sun slowly crept into the sky, Fill the morning air with warmth and life. <clears throat> when I used to bake cakes with Dad, a lot of times uh, we would put jam in the center. It would just be jam. We wouldn't put any uh, frosting or anything. We just slice the cake and then put jam in the center. And maybe a dusting of powdered sugar after it cooled on top on the top part so four five six good tablespoons like you just want enough to spread her around okay let's check on my meringue here see how it's getting nice and glossy i don't know if the camera is picking that up but it gets really nice and glossy looking and then you want nice uh this is kind of more ribbony. It's really hot out here. You kind of want to try to get your really stiff peaks. But like I say, it's mega hot. Sounds of birds in harmony. And you there right next
next to me minutes till it gets brown. Okay, neighbors, it's just a few seconds now. I gotta take her out of the oven. Now I'm baking mine, the third rack from the bottom of my oven, the third rack up from the bottom. So like center rack. It smells awesome. You have to smell it. Take a whip. Smell the coconut, toasty coconut. We have to let this cool completely. Then I'm gonna take it out of the pan and I'm gonna show you. Neighbors, while we're waiting for that to cool, I need to pick up a bottle of white wine to make uh, I'm making a 1950s dinner tonight. I'm going to do it in a separate video. So make sure if you're interested in seeing the 1950s casserole, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and clean, clean that note, clean, clean, click that no, notification bell. So you get notified when I upload a video. But anyway, I need to grab some white wine. sun goes down We could walk this autumn town Find a place to be alone Look into your eyes Feeling butterflies We could dance under the stars Fall into each other's arms We need to be just you and me. This used to be an old horse barn. I just want to show you the horse door. One second. See? Anyway, let's go inside. We can lose this love, so hold on to what we know we have. Hold on to moments that we've shared Hold on if all we have is just each other Everything will be fine Just hold on Stay. Memories for our house to hold will carry till we're gray and old. So hold on to what we know we have. Hold on to moments that we've shared. Busy spot. Busy spot. Uh, that's because this weekend is a long weekend for Canada Day. And our town, Alora and Fergus area, Bellwood, Center Wellington gets crazy busy during the summer months, especially the weekends, let alone a long weekend. Cars like everywhere, people sightseeing and walking, doing trails, all that kind of stuff. Hold on, if all we have is just each other Everything will be fine Just hold on Just hold on
I got the kettle going. I'm just using tea bags today. I'm uh, having uh, English uh, breakfast. I warmed my teapot already with some, I sat, put warm water in it and let it sit for a few minutes, poured the warm water out. That way when I, I don't want any cracks to happen in my pot ever. So that's why. I'm going to cut these. We're getting some rain. We're going to get some rain. Oh I, my gosh, I gotta bring this down a little closer. You're going to use a wet knife when you uh, cut these, okay, friends, neighbors? Because the wet knife, uh, it won't tear it, really. And then I'm going to wet it again. I was going to take this in the dining room. I'll tell you why I'm not. <coughs> I'll show you. I have a little bit of a mess going on. I am going to be polishing those a bit more. There's a couple of spots on them that need to be polished because I'm going to list those for sale. And I got my camera out and I got some books and stuff out from watering my plants. So it's a little messy in here. Okay. Oh man, I love tea. Love it. Let's have a tasty poo. Cheers. Hot. I'll take a corner piece. Uh, it's best eaten the first day, but refrigerate the leftovers. Mmm. Most definitely. I hadn't had these in ages. I forgot how good they were. Heaven. Anyway, it's absolutely delicious. You know it. It's like a marshmallowy cloud on top. And the cake is just so nice. It's not too dense or anything. It's just perfect. But anyway, peace, love, and God bless. Please come back again, like, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff.